Dear all, in this session, I will be discussing about basic insulation level. It is also known as BIL. Let us understand what do we mean by BIL. Moving on to the definition. The basic impulse level that is also known as BIL is the maximum impulse voltage that electrical equipment can withstand without any damage. That means whenever you are designing an insulator for a particular equipment, you have to take care the impulse level. That means basic impulse level has to be considered. And also we have to say that a reference impulse voltage insulation strength expressed in terms of a peak value of the withstand voltage of a standard impulse voltage. In fact, when your insulation level should withstand the peak value of impulse waveform. You know the importance of impulse waveform. It is having very high peak. Whatever you are going to design the insulation, that particular material should withstand that particular impulse peak. Otherwise, your insulation will be spoiled. So, a flashover will be taken place. Okay. Puncture for solid dielectric material and a flashover for liquid and gaseous type dielectric material. Okay. That will be taken place if the particular level is failed to maintain. Moving on to the third point, insulation levels are designed to withstand surge voltages rather than only the normal operating voltage. That point also has to be considered. So this is the importance of BIL. Now let us consider one table. With the help of table, I can explain in a better manner. Okay. You can observe system voltage rating and basic impulse level. It is expressed in KV. Both are expressed in terms of kilovolt. Suppose, let us consider the first example. The system voltage rating is 2.5. You have to consider the system, op system operat operating voltage of the system is equal to 2.5 kV. Then what is the value of basic impulse level? They have given as 60 kV. So you can see BIL is equal to 60. That means whenever you are going to design an insulation material, you have to maintain the dielectric strength of a particular material that is equal to 60 kV. They have expressed in terms of basic impulse level. That means 60 divided by 2.5, you can calculate. Okay, what is the value of 60 kV divided by 2.5 kV? So you can use the calcium compute. That means 60 divided by 2.5, that is nothing but 24. That means you are maintaining the insulation level for more than 24 times. Okay, that is one example. So let us consider the last one. Similarly, this is the way how to design the insulation. That means high amount of insulation will be provided. Otherwise, you, the insulation material, the insulating material or dielectric material, or you can call dielectrics, cannot able to serve wave during uh, the li high lightning and thundering. During high lightning and thundering, bulk amount of uh, impulse waveform will be generated. And also we can able to see the surge voltages. In the last session, I have explained the details about surge voltage. Or else, let us consider the last example. See, suppose for your switch gear, you are operating a switch gear. The operating voltage of the switch gear is 138 kV. The basic impulse level they are recommending is 650. You can see how much amount of insulation you will be providing. That means 650 divided by how much? 138. Okay. So you can able to calculate. Use the calci and just for the Value you can able to get 650 divided by 138. That is nothing but 4.71. 4.71. That is approximately equal to 5. Let me round off 5. That means you are going to provide the 5 times. Okay. That means uh, suppose the peak value may be 138. You are applying 5 times of 138. That is equal to 650. So dielectric breakdown strength will be maintained as maintaining as 650. Okay. So every, every case is, there will be a uh, basic impulse level. That's the standard. Okay. Whenever you are designing an insulation, uh, you have to maintain BIL. That is one of the standard. That is very important whenever you are dealing with the design of dielectrics. There are two types of uh, BIL standard. As far as our country concerned, so we are going to take care about uh, Indian standards, Indian standard BIL. Okay. Some countries are following uh, the British standard BIL as well. Let us make a comparison. Suppose 
you are operating a system you are operating a system for 33 kv say 33 kv let us consider you are operating a uh, you are operating system voltage that is equal to nominal system voltage or you can call operating voltage is equal to 33 kv if i consider indian standards bal i will be designing an insulation for the dielectric strength of 170 kv if i consider indian standard bal if i consider british standard bal i should have provided the dielectric strength of 200 kv that's a difference okay uh, it varies based on the standard that you have to remember in case of 220 kv system both the indian standard and british standard both are identical okay both the things both the standards are following in the same criteria you are actually operating the system with the 220 kv such cases you are maintaining the insulation as 900 bar uh, 1050 kv both the cases you can have the same value okay so uh, this is a very important so i would i would like to tell you one more point the insulation of apparatus must and should greater than bil okay that is actually required and uh, why bil is required means whenever you are designing an insulator for dielectric material definitely you have to take care about bil based on the bil you are going to provide the dielectric breakdown dielectric strength for that particular insulating material okay it is applicable for all the type of equipments like uh, transformer or if i talk about uh, switch gears you are considering bil okay whenever you are designing you take care about bil so this is the basic information about bil okay i have referred the following textbooks and the websites different website i have referred like electricfory.com okay there are many more websites that that are, the link will be putting up in the description box if you click on that you will be getting more information so in this session i have discussed a brief information on bil what is bil definition then why bil is required importance of bil and also i could point out there are two types of bil uh, that is indian based uh, indian sta indian standards bil and uh, british standard bil if you have if you are having any queries you can put up in the comment box i'll be giving the details on your queries finally thank you very much for watching this video if you are having any queries so please put up in the comment box